Derek and I had so much fun last night. We are so that good. Wig was so, oh my gosh, I just you could barely recognize us. I know. World of Dance premiered last night on NBC, and dancing has never been hotter. We just watched Karen and Ricardo. Those are our stage names. Courtney and Derek, who by the way received the highest score in history of that show, a score of 99.7. And right here in Houston, of course, the Houston Ballet is getting ready for their brand new production that premieres less than a week away. And these next few days are crucial as the dancers are preparing to hit the stage very soon. That's right. And here to tell us all about it is, of course, the artistic director of the ballet himself, Stanton Welch. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome to Thank the show. You. <laughs> so you guys have, I mean, obviously you have such a rich history here in Houston, but are you always coming up with ways to keep things fresh and contemporary as well? Yeah, for sure. I mean, this year's been such an interesting year because of Harvey. We've sure. been outside of our home all year. So what we have next weekend is uh, a, a really spectacular kind of new performance in, uh, the, in the convention center at the Grand Assembly Hall there. And it has Outspoken Bean, who is a, a poet, Deborah Mouton, who is the Poet Laureate for Houston, M music by Moby, uh, classical music. It's like a the most eclectic, sort of unusual performance I think that we've ever done. And it will only be done this time for these three shows because we're only going to be out of this theatre this one Harvey Schmarvy time. Exactly, yeah, so. exactly. Now, are we look, this is video of the rehearsal, yeah. right? This is a ballet called Play, which is the music of Moby. Uh, and uh, it has, uh, we've ex expanded the cast and uh, it's, it's set in shoes and ties and it's kind of really funky, uh, modern kind of dance. <laughs> and that's what I think is so great about you, Stanton, is that you are not afraid to get out of that ballet box. Yeah, I like to embarrass myself. No, bit. not embarrassing. <laughs> I love everything that you do. Your productions are amazing. Thank you. And I think it's great because you appeal to all different audiences. No longer is the ballet stuffy, if, if sure. one would think that it would be stuffy. I think there's something for everybody. Absolutely, and that was part of what this program was with Outspoken Bean and Debra Mouton. They're, they're really different. It's bringing an urban funkiness to, to the ballet, and uh, I, I love that collaboration. It's inspiring, you know, to go home and, and try to <laughs> move around a little bit. Right. Not quite as cool as what you just saw there, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's fun. Well, Stanton, oh, I'm sorry no, to jump ahead. in, Courtney. There, so also an art, like this visual arts exhibit is happening in the lobby as exactly. well? Exactly. Lee Smith, one of our uh, board members, uh, has curated this uh, art exhibition outside as well. So the idea is it's all a reaction to the storm. It's how we survived the storm, how art uh, everything got back up on its feet. We're ready to go and instead of crying about it, we're making something beautiful and exciting about it. So it's all local people, one off at the convention center. Oh, Marina, it's a fantastic. show before the show. It is, absolutely. <laughs> Let's talk about maybe the routine of the dancers right sure. now as you're preparing. I don't think people at home understand, or certainly we don't, the hours that everybody puts in. Yeah, well, I mean, the dance is there from about 9 a.m. until 7 every day. Wow. Uh, from 9 till 10, you warm yourself up, and from 10 to 11.30, you have a class, which we do every day, which is a whole different combination of different exercises. Uh, and then we work, rehearse for six hours, and that rehearsal is pretty intense. I mean, those little three-minute bits of dancing, as you see in the show can really exert your body and uh, it, it's tough. And how do they maintain sort of, I mean, are there eating in between? Because I know like if I'm going to go run, <laughs> I'm not eating right before, you know? You're yeah. not allowed to eat, Corey. Right. No, 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 but I'm saying like Those... how do they never? <laughs> black you they... not black you got to eat a yes. lot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm just wondering like what they're nibble routine. a lot. Okay. I, think, I think what you what you see everybody doing is grazing. Peanuts, nuts, fruit, vegetables. Just keep little bits of intake the whole time because you can't dance with a bloated tummy. No. Uh, you can't get lifted with a bloated tummy. So it, it, you know you just gotta you gotta space it. But um, and then you eat late. late That's right. There you yeah. Go. Hey, what's this about a ticket giveaway? What? So we're giving away tickets, right? You are, yes. Okay, so we're going to put the information right on your screen. Click to Houston.com and go to the contest section. The last day to enter, you've got a little, not a week till June 5th there. And uh, if you win, we'll send you an email. That's two tickets. Two tickets. So that is awesome. Yeah, go to our Facebook page, right? Yeah. Perfect. And to secure your seats, you play uh, to play, just visit HoustonBallet.org or call 713-227-ARTS.
Well, Stanton Welch, thank you for keeping it thank fresh. You. Thank I you. Know. Thank you. For staying at the, you are a legend here in Houston. We know you're very busy, so thank you so much. No, for thank taking you for time. having me. We and I hope to see it. you at the at the ballet. I know it's we exciting. <laughs> we'll see you soon, right, sir. Okay, see you very you. soon.